Well, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us this afternoon. Uh, sorry, we're just a couple minutes late. I wanted to give everybody a chance to get logged in. Uh, so we've got quite a crowd on this afternoon. Uh, so really appreciate you all turning out. I am Michael Brown, Head of Commodities at Bar Chart. And I really want to thank you for taking a look at the award-winning Commodity View by Bar Chart. Uh, as you've probably seen, we have just recently won the Best Buy Side Commodities Trading Platform in the Buy Side Technology Awards for 2020. So we're all very proud of that. Kudos to the whole team at Bar Chart. Kudos to uh, our partners that provide a lot of content for us on Commodity View. And especially thank you to our customers who continue to provide uh, great, great feedback and insights to keep making this product better and better. So we're gonna go through a bit of a presentation this afternoon on some of the, the key points of Commodity View. And then I'll do a, a quick uh, high level uh, demo for you as well. And so if you have any questions as we go through this, uh, please just uh, submit those in the question and answer panel uh, in the little sidebar uh, for, the, uh, for the webinar. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. All right, Commodity View really is a, an all-in-one solution. Uh, it's a leading solution for you know, procurement, merchandising, commodity risk, uh, kind of covers all of the markets and all of the roles uh, within the markets that deal with commodities. Uh, it's a solution that spans across the desktop and mobile devices, and it accesses our entire data ecosystem. You'll see more about that in a few minutes uh, when we take a look, a deeper look at uh, all the different concept, content sets that we do have available. Um, at a high level, of course, we have global exchange data, we've got news and reports, uh, you've probably heard a lot about our uh, commodity uh, proprietary data, including our cash bids, um, our, our yield and production forecasts, our price and basis indexes. Uh, has tons of commodity uh, fundamentals, so from all major reporting agencies, and we'll see some more of that in a moment. Uh, as you can kind of see on, on this quick snapshot here, uh, it's, it's not only your typical quotes, charts, news, uh, but we also have uh, very good geospatial uh, tools to view a lot of this data uh, in maps and do analysis right there in the maps, uh, as long, along with uh, other decision support and analytics tools. One real key point here um, is that the, the technology is all brand new. It's all HTML5, it's all browser-based. Uh, what that means for you is that it is totally uh, portable and mobile. So uh, you're your subscription, whether you're at work on your desktop, whether you go home, log in and, on your home computer, or you're on the road, uh, maybe on your mobile device, uh, your entire sub subscription will be available to you wherever and on whatever device uh, you're, you're using. We also take care of all of the, uh, you know, kind of back office things like uh, saving your workspace, uh, all, the, all the disaster recovery and things like that. You don't have to worry about any of those kinds of things. The, uh, the product also includes a very powerful Excel add-in. So if you do a lot of analysis within Excel, that's included. And it uh, also includes the, the mobile functionality, mobile app, all, all in one package. One of the big drivers uh, in, in any you know, market solution uh, is the, the data that is available. Uh, and our data ecosystem is, is really a you know, key value uh, proposition around the product. Uh, from our global exchange data, which you see up in the upper left-hand corner, uh, to the fundamental data that we talked about from USDA, the Census Bureau, uh, Eurostat and Stat Canada for the international coverage, uh, Baker Hughes and EIA on the energy side, just on and on. Uh, the, the data coverage, uh, not only, you know, real-time exchange data, but fundamental data as well uh, is, is extremely robust in commodity view. Um, and then we have our commodity pricing network, uh, which is, I think, quite unique in the industry. Uh, we have a number of third parties and continually uh, growing number of third parties that provide their data and content to us for distribution through our platforms, not just commodity view, but our, our APIs as well. Uh, and you can see some of the big names here. You know, if you're in food and bev, uh, you'll recognize uh, Mintech and Ernerberry. If you're looking for uh, global export prices at all the major ports globally, Commodity 3 is a fantastic solution. Uh, if you're looking at organics, Mercaris. 
um, and, and on and on. We'll look at more of these as we go through, but uh, the Commodity Pricing Network is, is really driving value uh, of this platform. So the data is great, uh, but you really need to bring it to the surface and, and make it uh, easy to access and provide the tools to do that. And, and just a few examples, we'll take a look at the, the demo in a minute and, and see more. Um, but just a few of the tools that I, I think really stand out here uh, are, are geospatial uh, coverage. It's built on a brand new high performance geospatial API. So basically any data that has a geospatial component to it, we can uh, ingest and make available within our, our mapping engine. Uh, this of course supports our own uh, grain bids, our proprietary uh, cash and, and basis indexes, our yield forecasts, uh, as well as a number of other uh, data sources like uh, USDA and, and other reporting agencies like that. Uh, you can um, filter the data, uh, you can overlay different data sets and I'll show you that as well. You know, perhaps you wanna look at our uh, basis uh, indexes overlaid with um, the drought monitor or with you know the real time radar or something like that so you can kind of see what you know what weather uh, events are, are driving potential basis moves across the country you can also and this this i think is, is really unique you can play back historical data on the maps so if you want to look at for example the progression of uh, crop progress or crop condition reports from the beginning of the season through harvest, uh, you can animate that all the way through the season and look and see each each uh, you know each day or each week uh, as it's reported how that's changing as the season progresses. Uh, then our, our cash prices uh, again we have bundles and bundles of, of cash and, and fundamental data. Our cash price window is a real nice tool to quickly grab that data uh, and then sort it and filter it the way that you need it and the way that you want to see it. Uh, and there's more improvements to that coming, but it's a, a real nice uh, tool that really others don't have available. As I mentioned, the product does come with a, an Excel add-in. Uh, what's really nice here, whatever data you have available in your Commodity View uh, subscription, which if you're on Pro, you essentially have our entire uh, ecosystem available. Uh, all of that data is available through the Excel add-in. So, uh, you can pull that data into uh, Excel and do any further analysis, reporting, you know, maybe end of day or, or mark to market reports, um, anything like that. That essentially, whatever you want to build in Excel, uh, you can use that using our uh, our Excel add-in. Uh, it's also real nice because it can run entirely independently of Commodity View, or you can use it in in conjunction with Commodity View. You don't have to be logged into Commodity View to use the Excel add-in, uh, which is really really slick. Uh, what can you do in Excel? You can pull in quotes, charts, uh, even a full options display right within Excel. Uh, and of course, you can bring in historical data for any sort of analysis that you want to do there. Uh, you can even add studies to that historical data within Excel. So if you want to add a you know, Bollinger's or, or moving averages or something like that to the data in Excel, you can do that right within the Excel add-in. Okay, um, it's kind of a little segue here. Um, Commodity View is, is not just uh, agribusiness. That's certainly uh, where this product started. And we are uh, quickly expanding the capabilities and the content sets uh, to expand in these other areas. So uh, really today it covers agribusiness, renewable fuels, uh, brokerages and CTAs uh, in really any of the commodities markets. Uh, food and beverage is a big focus for us, especially going into 2021. Uh, whether you know you're a, a CPG or whether you're in food services um, or buying food ingredients, uh, the, the product uh, just gets better and better uh, for those areas. And then energy, whether you're trading crude oil, natural gas, or even refined products. Uh, and then metals and mining, scrap metals, industrial based metals, precious metals. Uh, we really cover it all at this point. And there's really something for everyone. Uh, again, this is kind of a, a view of uh, some of our data ecosystem uh, and some of the, the main uh, you know, features and data uh, that really kind of drive that functionality for the agribusiness market. Uh, whether it's you know, forward curves and seasonality charts, uh, the ability to trade physical grain right within the product, the geospatial analysis, and some of the, some of the uh, Providers like uh, USDA and Mercaris, uh, Dow Jones on the new side, and, and so on. 
uh, for ethanol and, and uh, producers and, and marketers, uh, add in something like uh, Star Supply or SCV and, and their uh, ethanol and biodiesel uh, assessments. Um, you know, other other things uh, as well. Again, the forward curves and the seasonality charts are all very, very important there. Um, our commodity uh, cash bids, indexes, forecasts, all, all critical to ethanol producers and, and marketers. In the food and beverage space, you know, add into that uh, Arnberry for your, your proteins or Mintec for a wide, wide variety of global, uh, you know, food ingredient pricing. Uh, really, really no end to the, uh, the data services that are available for that market as well. Uh, and then energy trading, you know, maybe uh, it's it's Baker Hughes or EOX Live and their their uh, crude natural gas and refined products forward curves. Maybe it's Oil Market Journal. Um, all you know, all great stuff available through Commodity View. Stepping back for just a minute uh, into commodity for egg, whether that's egg businesses, ethanol and biodiesel, feedlots, livestock. Uh, crushers, millers, uh, you name it. Let's just kind of take a look at this particular market because I want you to see uh, kind of how Commodity View fits in as one component of an overall enterprise solution. You can see here, uh, you know, three three of the major products here: Commodity View, Marketplace Apps, and Content Management. So, Commodity View uh, for agribusiness is really the merchandiser's desktop, and it's you know, it's everything that that merchandiser needs to do his or her job. The marketplace app is the producer facing port. And these two are completely uh, connected together. Producer gets uh, elevators, cash bids on his mobile phone, gets futures, options, weather, news. Uh, they can chat back and forth between the, the merchandiser and the producer. Uh, all of that is tied together with commodity view on the desktop. Producer can even uh, submit offers, get their scale tickets, get their contracts, uh, and any accounting information that is, is critical to them. So it really ties together that, that whole uh, workflow between the merchandiser um, and the producer. And then on the content management side, this might be uh, you know, our, our cash bid administration tool where elevators can, can set and, and publish and distribute uh, their cash bids to the market. Or it might be uh, market content for uh, the website, for example. So all, all number of things. But this is just a few of the pieces that uh, make up our, our overall enterprise solution. Uh, just quick here, we kind of covered some of this already. Um, but looking at, at Commodity View, for example, uh, it's really the only workstation out there that provides global access to uh, exchanges. It provides uh, not only US and Canadian cash prices, but global cash prices at all the major ports. It provides endless uh, fundamental data, um, as well as our own proprietary uh, data and, and uh, analysis around the markets, our, our price and basis indexes, our yield forecasts, and so on. But it also gives you the ability to transact physical grain and then immediately turn around and, and hedge that grain. So it, it really is a, a soup to nuts uh, solution for, for that market. Kind of talked about this already, but um, 4,000 grain buying locations that we cover cash, cash prices for. That's US and Canada. Uh, about 90% uh, of that is US, 10% Canada. Uh, we take those prices at each of those uh, locations we weight them according to a proxy for a rough volume transacted throughout the year. And then we calculate our price and basis indexes from the county level on up to the national level. Uh, so that's just some of the you know, proprietary data uh, that you'll see and, and uh, that really drives the value in this platform. And it just talks a little bit more about uh, some of our proprietary indexes, uh, our yield forecasts, even basis forecasts. So if you're uh, you know, looking at the current basis forward curve, but you want to know how, how do we think that curve is going to shift uh, going out, you know, six months? Well, we can tell you that now. We have a, a model to predict uh, where that basis will be in three months, six months out. So what's next? Where, where are we investing? Uh, we're going to continue to invest in, in geospatial. That's one of the things that really sets the, the product uh, apart. Um, 
we integrate with uh, ERP or back office systems so that we can uh, both push matched offers, for example, to the grain accounting system, or we can pull back out uh, scale tickets, contracts, uh, balances on those contracts, and present that information to the producer through that marketplace app we showed a little bit ago. Uh, the commodity pricing network, I uh, see no end in sight to that. That uh, has gotten a lot of traction, continues to uh, really grow day by day, uh, adding, adding new partners. Uh, you'll see many more live stream uh, events going forward as we introduce and, and launch uh, some of those other new, new content pieces. Um, and then working through uh, predictive analytics, and that might be geospatial, that might be uh, other things like our basis forecasts, uh, where we take the current data, uh, build models around it, and then create forecasts going forward. Uh, so enhanced tools for visualization and analysis, um, increased adoption of our instant messaging and chat network. So between Commodity View and our Marketplace app, and within the universe of users on Commodity View, uh, there is an instant messaging functionality. Uh, and anybody uh, on those platforms can chat with one another uh, you know, throughout the, say, the Commodity View uh, universe or ecosystem. So expanding that network, continuing the, the uh, CPN network, uh, doing industry-specific analysis, uh, such as best bid calculators or supply and demand analysis, uh, building cropland um, classifications or crop, crop masks so that we can uh, actually scale uh, our current yield and production forecasts uh, to other commodities, but also uh, globally. And then using uh, more pixel level weather data in some of those models, uh, creating, uh, like talking about international production forecasts, um, and more mobile trading uh, in enhancements. Uh, you know, a lot of people are on the go these days, working remote, what have you. So we're gonna continue investing in, uh, you know, new features and enhancements around uh, the mobile application and specifically trading within the mobile application. Uh, skip back here. Okay, I think we're we're through the presentation. Uh, let me go to the last slide here. There we go. Um, so uh, before I go on to the live demo, again, feel free to use the uh, question and answer panel within the webinar to submit any questions. Um, after we're done, if, if anybody would like to you know, schedule a one-on-one -on -one more in-depth demo, we'd be happy to do that as well. Uh, my contact is on, it's on the screen, uh, mbrown at barchart.com, or just simply commodity, cmdty at barchart.com. So feel free to reach out, and uh, we'd be happy to spend some time with you and, and take you through the details of the product. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna bring up Commodity View and we'll have a quick high level look. Okay, uh, this is Commodity View. As I mentioned, it's all, all browser based, so there's nothing to download, no software to install. You simply go to a URL and log in with the credentials we provide and you're in your workspace. Uh, the workspaces are built around these page tabs that you see at the bottom. You can have as few or as many of those as you want. And within the page tab, you can organize the, the data any way you want. I, I have kind of a you know, two by two uh, display here, four panels. Uh, but if I want, I can have a, a single plant panel on this particular tab. And maybe I want a you know, full screen chart, or maybe I want to put a, a chart on another monitor or something like that. Um, all doable. How you set this up is, is completely up to you. Um, you can see here I've got uh, quotes up in the upper left hand corner. Uh, beyond the, the page tabs at the bottom, I can have additional set of tabs within uh, each of these sub windows. So up here, I've got a number of different uh, quote screens. I've got grains, I've got livestock and dairy, energy, and so on. And again, I can, I can build those any way that I want. Uh, I've got the quote board linked to a chart. So over here is charts. Uh, it's a very powerful and professional level uh, charting uh, library that we use within Commodity View. Uh, so when I link the two displays together, which I do simply by changing the green or changing the icon to a matching color, any matching color, then as I click through my, my quote board, you can see the other displays on the screen update accordingly. So I don't need, uh, you know, 
30 different displays, I can kind of create a, a few that I, I need and then use the clipboard to, to drive those other displays. On the charts themselves, all the different uh, intervals that you would need and expect, uh, about 60, 70 different uh, technical studies. So if you're a technical analyst, uh, that full capability is there. There's drawing tools such as trend lines and Fibonacci's and those kinds of things. A number of different uh, charting styles, whether you like you know, line charts, bar charts, candlesticks, all available. Uh, then you can also do overlay charts. So if you want to compare, say, bean to corn, beans to corn, uh, you can overlay those on a single chart. You can do expressions. So if you want to chart, uh, in this case here, I've got the uh, soybean crush uh, charted. And you can get as you know simple or sophisticated uh, with some of those expressions as, as you want. There's a full news package, uh, our own commodity newswire, uh, as well as the Dow Jones newswire. And then from there, you can do keyword searches on you know, last name of the author, corn, beans, wheat, cocoa, you know, whatever you want to search by. You can select which feeds you want to look at and then narrow that down further by, by using keywords to sort that further. Down in the lower left-hand corner, there's forward curves. There's seasonal charts. Here's a seasonal chart on May corn. You can overlay, I think, up to 12 years uh, on a single single chart. Uh, there's a spread matrix, matrix, so that you can quickly see the spread between various months. So, you know, July to to Dece is currently uh, minus 20 cents, 20 and a quarter cents. Uh, there's specialty calculators. If you're, you know, if you're a crushing plant, there's a soybean crush calculator, for example, that takes the, the full uh, forward chain of uh, soybeans, meal, and oil, and then calculates the meal and oil value and the crush margin. It's a cost to carry calculator, so you can uh, really closely uh, monitor and manage uh, your cost of carry, which is the, the middle line, versus the market carry, which is the top line and then see how much of your physical cost to carry is gonna be covered uh, by, the, by the futures market. You can see right now there is no carry uh, in, in the corn market. And then other things like livestock crush calculators similar to the soybean crush. There's uh, both an options chain display and an options strike. So really, really, again, no, no end to the different uh, displays and, and data sets and, and features of functionality that, that are available. I just want to take a minute to uh, show some of the, the different examples um, in the maps. Uh, so this, uh, quite simply, are our cash bid prices uh, overlaid with our cash bid uh, indexes. So again, you can, you can layer uh, these different displays. And as I zoom in, you can see I get more and more individual locations, at which time I can, I can pick a location and bring up their current bids. You can see who, what elevator that is, where they're located, and wherever they're bidding for. So if they're currently bidding 12 months, 14 months out, we will have all of those bids, essentially that, that full forward curve um, on the cash market. Um, and then I can simply uh, you know, pick one of these delivery periods, click on the chart, I love the chart icon and pull up their entire history for that location for that commodity for whichever delivery period that I selected. The other thing that's uh, unique and, and I think very useful here is I can go into the layer and right now if I go to cash grain bids I'm looking at all location types. Maybe I only want to see the river terminals. I can come to the drop down, click on the river terminals and filter out everything else. Or maybe I wanna see just the uh, ethanol and biofuel plants. And I can see prices just for those. I can also, on the grain price indexes, I can look at, at basis or price. Right now we're looking at a, a heat map on basis and it's for December. But if I wanna see what does that heat map look like for say next March, I can come into the drop down and click on March and see what basis is looking like out there in a geographic uh, type of display. Oh, very, very handy. Uh, some other kinds of displays. This is similar, uh, except here we're showing soybeans and we're showing price flags uh, at each of the location for you know, the current spot price. 
Uh, I mentioned all of the, the fundamental data that's available. Here we're looking at uh, accumulated uh, precipitation. I can come into the layers and add radar to that. So maybe I want to see, you know, uh, where I'm low on uh, accumulated precip. Am I going to get any rain in the near term? So I can add a, add a live radar to that. I mentioned earlier about the fundamental data. So I can take, uh, say, the crop progress report. It comes out weekly during the season. Uh, and here we are looking at harvested progress or corn. And I can just simply click on the play button down the lower left-hand corner. And then I can kind of see that progress uh, throughout the season. So it starts back in, in, uh, in June at 0% at harvested and goes through the, the end of the season. I do the same thing on uh, crop conditions, inventories. So I can look at inventory, you know, state by state, uh, CRD or, or county. Um, our yield forecasts, we talked a lot about our yield forecasts. Um, so here, again, I can look at these on a state by state basis, a county by county basis. And I can also come into the layers. And let's say I want to uh, set this date. I've got it at September. That's, that's cool. That's fine. Um, let's go back to, say, July 1st and then animate it uh, through the end of the year. So here we're looking at bar charts, commodity yield indexes at a state level, could do it at county, and I've animated it uh, through from July 1st uh, through the end of the season. And so you can, you know, you can watch this on a daily basis to see how and where yield forecasts are changing, compare that to how basis is cha uh, changing, and, and so on. Okay, um, some of the other uh, examples I wanted to show you. Uh, we talked about uh, Mentech, you know, some, some of their uh, pricing around ingredients. Uh, again, just a very, very small sample because there, there's tons of information here. Uh, here's some you know, sugar uh, pricing examples. They also have uh, production uh, numbers. So it's not just pricing, but you know, uh, supply and demand kind of information globally uh, as well. Uh, page where I just showed uh, sugar fundamentals by, by region. You know, world, world numbers for uh, production, imports, exports, and closing stocks, uh, just narrowing that down to Brazil or the US. Um, and then other production areas uh, around the world. You can see uh, India and China, Thailand, Mexico, and so on. So a very, very comprehensive data set, uh, and not only ingredients, but, but packaging information as well. So whether that's uh, high density polyethylene, low density polyethylene, and, and so on, wool and sawnwood, and uh, all, all the various packaging materials that are available. And any of that can be charted. Uh, you know, either historically or, or it can be charted uh, on a seasonal basis as well. So here we're, we're looking at uh, some, you know, seasonal Arabic coffee. Similar on, on uh, Ernerberry. We've got uh, seafood, historical seafood prices, seasonal seafood prices. Just click on uh, you know one of my items on the left hand side and there's uh, uh, wild Gulf of Mexico shrimp brown and you can see the historical data on that and, and where we're trending. Same thing with uh, eggs. You know U.S. EU um, large eggs, white eggs, egg solids, liquid eggs, and, and so on. Again, uh, just tons and tons of uh, data for the, for the food and beverage market. Okay, I am going to uh, stop there and leave some time for questions. And we kind of take a look through here. We we have gotten some questions in, so let me just kind of check those out and uh, see which uh, which ones we can have time to cover. Uh, one of the questions is: Can you do seasonal charts on cash prices and and basis? And how about spreads? Uh, as a matter of fact, you can, um, and I do have an example here. So let me just uh, jump back to the overview page. Uh, for example, uh, here I'll do a uh, seasonal spread. 
with chart and seasonal. And then I can simply come to the formula builder and I can choose a, a popular spread or create my own. So let's just do a nearby corn spread and apply that. And there's my seasonal chart uh, for, for first month, second month corn. Uh, I can also do seasonals on, on things like uh, cash prices. So this, this down in the lower left-hand corner, I can blow that up full screen, uh, is a five-year seasonal chart on our commodity national corn price index. I can change that to basis, and I can do the same thing for basis index as well. So yeah, so essentially, uh, you know, any of these data sets, uh, you can do seasonal um, or yeah, seasonal charts on, on any of those, whether they're cash prices or, or futures. Okay. Um, do you have USDA reports? Uh, we do. Uh, so really have them in several different ways. Uh, we have the, the raw reports here. Let me see where you open this one. We'll go down to news and reports. And this is our little report uh, ingestion device here, if you will. Uh, I can pick the source. So I'm on USDA. I can go over to WASDE and pull up the WASDE report. So this is in its native PDF format. Well, some people like to see it. You know, in a, in a nice report like that. Uh, they also come through the uh, newswires, both the commodity newswires and the Dow Jones newswires. And then also all of this data uh, comes in in a raw elementized form so that you can uh, chart and, and plot the USDA data um, against pr prices, for example. So maybe you want to want to look at the uh, ending stocks versus price. You can do all of that right within commodity view. Uh, can I adjust when continuation contracts roll? Uh, again, yes, you can. So I'll come back to the charts. And right now I'm just on a standard uh, daily March corn chart. I'm going to come into the drop down interval and go to daily nearest. So now I'm on a continuation chart. And you can see that goes you know, way back. Uh, a weekly continuation chart, for example, will go back to 1950 seven or nine when corn started trading on the, on the board trade. Uh, but now it's on, on here, I go to the settings wheel and come down to the bottom and take a look at the contract roll. I can have it roll to the next contract based on the number of days to expiration or at expiration. So I can choose how many days before, or I can roll it on volume and open interest. So when the volume and open interest of the second contract exceeds the nearby, it'll roll to the next contract. So that's that's all doable. Great, great question. Uh, do you have organic and non-GMO prices? Uh, we do. Uh, so we are partnered with Mercaris, and we have um, organic and non-GMO corn, beans, wheat, barley, and rye. You can see here with with history on all of those. And then we also have organic uh, imports. Uh, both the the price uh, of the the corn imports, whether it's from you know any soybeans or, or what have you, um, and as well as the volume as well and quantity. Uh, what data does the Excel add-in have available? Again, whatever uh, data that you have access to within your commodity view subscription is available uh, in your in your Excel uh, add-in that comes along with Commodity View Pro. And just, you know, one example uh, of the different things that you can do in Excel. And this is just an example of a kind of an overall market dashboard um, that we built. But you can build, uh, you know, profit and loss calculators for, you know, say ethanol uh, production or livestock feed yards. Uh, you know, pretty much any, um, you know, any uh, business uh, analysis that you want to do, you can do uh, right here in Excel, pulling the, all of the data available from your commodity use subscription into Excel. Uh, and then the question was, do you have cash prices uh, in Canada? We, we do. Uh, so those 4,000 locations that we collect prices from, uh, about 10% or so of those are, are in Canada and the rest are in the US. We also have a, a very, very deep uh, database of cash prices 
um, in Australia, uh, interior prices uh, like we have here in, in North America. Uh, and then we also, again, have those uh, global prices from our partner, CPN partner, Commodity 3, uh, where it's the, the cash prices, import and export, FOB, SIF, however you want to call it, um, at all the major ports uh, worldwide. Okay, a couple more questions here that are just coming through. Ah, great, great question. Um, says it's it's clear that Commodity View is an excellent information platform for data visual, visualization. Uh, does Commodity View also support uh, transactions, uh, like futures uh, trades and, and cash bringing, buying and selling? It does. Uh, again, great, great question. Uh, so the, the Commodity Match uh, module within Commodity View uh, is the merchandiser side of that. So that's the catcher's mitt for the incoming offers from the producers which is uh, Marketplace, the Marketplace app, to submit those offers. So that's the physical side of that transaction. Uh, the merchandiser can catch those uh, offers in, in his commodity view. Um, we, we set a, a watch on those, so we know when the, the, the futures and basis hit the cash offer that the producer is looking for, and we alert the merchandiser when they can then uh, accept that as a contract. From there, we take that offer, push it down to the accounting system, through our integration with the ERPs, and we able, are able to pull that information back out to present to the producer in the marketplace app, uh, their, their scale tickets, their co current contracts, all of their offers uh, outstanding, their, um, their balances against those, those contracts. So it's really a, a full, full circle uh, physical cash transaction, but then there's also uh, futures trading within the platform so uh, the merchandise can immediately turn around and, and head to those positions as well. Okay, uh, on the 4,000 bid locations, I assume that these are all static posted bids and not pre-negotiated or transactional bids that a farmer might be able to uh, lock in. Is this correct? Uh, that is correct. So these are, are publicly posted uh, bids. They update throughout the date. So whenever an elevator changes, uh, say, their basis, we capture that and push us through a new basis in, in cash price. Um, and look, those update, again, like I say, uh, throughout the day. And then those are also used to uh, calculate and build our, our price and basis indexes. Uh, is there a way to see basis against a fixed month, for example, December? Uh, but in November, the formula is da da da, -da looking for a continuous uh, basis fixed at the end of the month. Uh, yes, there is. Uh, so our, our basis um, indexes, you can either uh, in the fourth character put in A uh, for the nearby, B for the second month, C for the third month, or you can put in a, a hard code delivery period uh, like Z, Z20 or H21 uh, for the actual uh, delivery period for, for that indexes, index. Uh, same thing on the cash bids, uh, you can get fixed uh, fixed delivery periods for those bids. Uh, we don't yet have the rolling uh, cash, you know, front month cash price uh, at each individual elevator. Uh, the prices are there, uh, but they don't, they're not continuous. Uh, and that, that is an enhancement that's coming, and we've got a lot of great feedback on that. Uh, how do you how do you collect real time global spot prices from the private sector? Uh, uh, you know, I think this is probably uh, related to our Commodity Three partner, uh, which provides us with the, the global cash prices at all the major ports. Uh, they actually have a broker network uh, that they connect with three times a day to get price updates. Uh, so those prices are, are pulled in uh, to our partner and then transmitted uh, to us. So it's a it's a global network of broker uh, cash prices, uh, which has been you know, a, a really, really nice uh, feature or content addition uh, to, to uh, Commodity View. Um, it, we also have the, you know, the cash prices in Australia that I, I talked about earlier, uh, and, and we consume those on a, a daily basis uh, from all major uh, grain buyers uh, throughout Australia. Okay, uh, that's all the, the questions that we've had, and I think we are about out of time. So again, uh, I appreciate uh, you know everyone's uh, participation here today. A lot of great questions. Um, I'm, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of interest here to take a closer look. 
So please feel feel free to reach out. Again, my, my email is on the screen. Uh, I'll be happy to set you up with a one-on-one -on -one demonstration and uh, for certain a, a free trial as well to, to really dive into the details. Again, thank you very much. We really appreciate it and we look forward to working with you more in the future. Have a great day.